The officials are back in the 20th century in the reefer madness days. They're not in the 21st century. Mark Seligman attended the Grants Pass City Council meeting setting taxes on medical and recreational marijuana if it is legalized on the upcoming ballot. He says the elected officials should accept legalized marijuana and the business it brings instead of going after property taxes so often. They really want a ban because they see it as a moral hazard. I don't see it as a moral hazard anymore than alcohol is. And it'll be safeguarded away from kids and all the proper provisions. Seligman lives in Selma and Josephine County and says he is running for state representative in District 3. Seligman says he believes the city and county are only taxing marijuana because they want the funding. More importantly, they want to ban it. By charging a tax, they figure they can discourage business from a county and city that desperately needs the economy. Rika Brown lives in Grants Pass and, like Seligman, spoke at the city council meeting. Brown says she supports legal marijuana, but nobody should vote yes for Measure 91 because the taxes will increase current black market sales. Also, she says the current measure's wording says if someone is growing marijuana at home and is not licensed, the punishment may be severe. And the first punishment mentioned in the measure for violating the licensing rules is confiscation of all marijuana-related items, including the facilities that are used to store it, serve it, and use it. Which is to say you're home if you have too much homegrown. Brown says everyone should wait to legalize marijuana for now until there's a better offer on the table. We had a better offer in the last election. And people, a lot of them, didn't vote for it because they didn't like the idea of the taxes and the regulations. Covering your news, Aaron Nelson, News 10.